How Toilet Paper is Mass-Produced in a Factory Toilet Paper It's something you reach for every day. But have you ever wondered how it's made? It all starts with raw materials, logs harvested from carefully managed forests. These aren't just any logs. Manufacturers rely on a blend of softwood and hardwood trees, each contributing unique properties. The softwood adds durability and strength, while the hardwood creates the soft, delicate texture you expect. The logs arrive at massive production facilities, stripped of their bark by powerful debarking machines. These machines use rotating drums or sharp blades to gently peel the bark away. This process not only ensures that the wood is clean, but also maximizes the usable material for the next stages. What's left is a pristine log, ready to be processed. From here, the debarked logs are fed into industrial chippers, machines that are engineered for speed and precision. Picture logs being devoured in seconds and spit out the other side as small, uniform wood chips. These chips are the building blocks of the toilet paper production process. Their consistent size is critical because it ensures the following stages move smoothly, avoiding clogs or inefficiencies in the machinery. It's an impressive start to what seems like such a simple product. With wood chips prepped, the action moves to the heart of the factory industrial pressure cookers called digesters. These towering machines are nothing short of chemical chefs, transforming raw wood chips into something new. Each digester is loaded with a carefully measured batch of wood chips, along with water and a cocktail of chemicals. Inside, heat and pressure work together to break the chips down into their fundamental components, particularly cellulose fibers. The mechanics here are fascinating. The pressure inside these digesters can climb as high as 1,000 kilopascals, and temperatures soar above 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Over several hours, steam and chemicals strip the lignin, the natural glue holding wood fibers together. What's left is a mass of flexible pulp, the edible dough of the paper world. But this isn't just a set-it-and-forget-it process. Each digester is precisely calibrated to ensure the wood breaks down evenly. Operators and automated systems monitor every variable, from temperature to pressure, ensuring no batch is over or undercooked. Once broken down, the pulp is sent through a washing stage where it's thoroughly cleaned. This removes excess lignin, residual chemicals, and any remaining impurities. What emerges is a soft, benign mass that's ready for its transformation into gleaming white paper. This is where the pulp truly starts to look like something recognizable. Enter the bleaching machines, colossal units designed to purify and brighten the pulp. Using a mix of chemicals like chlorine dioxide or oxygen-based agents, the bleaching process removes any lingering colors or contaminants. The goal? A pure white base that won't discolor over time. The machinery here is nothing short of high-tech. The pulp flows through multiple chambers, each one applying a layer of treatment while carefully maintaining the pulp's moisture levels. Bleaching serves more than an aesthetic purpose. It preserves the quality of the paper and extends its usefulness. Imagine pulling out a roll of toilet paper only to find it's turned yellow. This step ensures that never happens. Once bleached, the pulp is diluted with water to create a watery mixture called paper stock, composed of 99.5% water and just 0.5% fiber. Why so much water? It allows the fibers to disperse evenly, which is crucial for making paper that's uniform in texture and strength. 
The slurry then makes its way to giant rotating drums and filtration systems, where excess water starts to drain away. It's hard to believe that at this stage, the one solid wood has become almost unrecognizable. A thin, wet sheet begins to form, setting the stage for the next remarkable transformation. From here, the pulp will transition to something far more familiar, but not without the help of more ingenious technology and skillful engineering. At this stage in the process, the slurry, a watery mix of 99.5% water and 0.5% fiber, starts its incredible transformation into sheets of paper. It flows steadily onto massive mesh sheets, part of a machine known as the formation section. The objective here is simple yet crucial. Separate as much water as possible while allowing the tiny fibers to align and bind themselves into a thin layer. These screens vibrate and move continuously, helping the fibers settle while the water drains away. Think of it like sieving sand from water, only on a much larger and more complex scale. Once a semi-solid layer has formed, the sheet moves onto the press section. Here, a series of rollers press the sheet with immense pressure, squeezing out even more water while simultaneously bonding the fibers tightly together. But this isn't where the water removal ends. The partially dried sheet is then sent through heated drying cylinders. Picture enormous rotating drums kept at high temperatures. The paper wraps around these drums, with each rotation evaporating more moisture. By the end of this stage, what started as wet, unrecognizable slurry emerges as a pristine, smooth, continuous sheet of paper. It's impressive how swiftly this transformation occurs, with the entire process running at speeds of over 60 miles per hour. Machinery precision ensures every sheet is perfectly balanced in thickness and texture. Once the sheets are dry and ready, they don't directly become the toilet paper you're familiar with just yet. Instead, they're wound into jumbo rolls, towering cylinders of tightly packed paper that could weigh several tons each. These rolls are unwieldy and certainly impractical for use as is. Enter the converting machines. The first step in this process involves the perforator. This ingenious piece of machinery is responsible for adding those tiny perforated lines on the paper that allow you to tear off neat little squares. It's done with surgical precision, ensuring every segment is equal. These perforations may seem like a small detail, but they're critical for functionality, making the paper easy to use in daily life. What follows is a high-speed slicing operation performed by log saws. Imagine enormous saw-like blades spinning at tremendous speeds, cutting the jumbo rows into smaller, manageable logs. Each log is destined to become multiple toilet paper rolls, and this step ensures the exact sizing and dimensions for those final products. The timing here is remarkable. The saws make hundreds of precise cuts in minutes, ensuring the operation never slows down. From here, the cut logs are briefly inspected by automated systems to ensure quality before moving on to the final stage. The last stop on this production line is all about presentation and preparation. After all, a roll of toilet paper isn't complete without its packaging. The cut logs move into wrapping machines, where they're swiftly encased in plastic or other packaging materials. These machines are slick and efficient, handling multiple rolls at once while grouping them into packs of four, six, or 12 depending on the specific order. The wrapping process also includes labeling and branding, ensuring the final product is market ready. Automated stampers print product information, barcodes, 
and logos directly onto the packaging in perfect alignment. It all happens so quickly that rolls enter as raw logs and emerge as polished, shelf-ready products in just minutes. The rolls are then inspected and bundled onto pallets by robotic arms for transport. These robots not only stack the packaged rolls, but also arrange them optimally for shipping, reducing space and maximizing efficiency. Every roll is now ready to head to distribution centers, retailers, and ultimately your bathroom. It's an astonishingly fast-paced and intricate process that combines engineering excellence and mechanical precision. The next time you grab a roll of toilet paper, you're holding the result of a carefully choreographed industrial masterpiece. It's easy to focus on the finished product, but the true marvel of toilet paper production lies in the extraordinary efficiency that ties the entire process together. Every machine, every step, and every movement in the factory is meticulously synchronized. The automation here isn't just about speed, it's about sustainability. Factories are designed to minimize waste at every stage. Leftover fibers from cutting or pressing are captured, recycled, and often reintroduced into the pulp for new sheets. The water used during production? It's filtered and reused, reducing environmental impact. And the energy powering these massive machines is optimized for efficiency, with some factories even utilizing renewable energy sources. There's an intricate balance between mass production and environmental responsibility, a balance constantly being improved as technology evolves. Even transportation is thoughtfully streamlined. Rolls are packed in ways that maximize every inch of cargo space, ensuring fewer trips and less fuel consumption. These behind-the-scenes efforts are what make mass production both astonishingly precise and surprisingly eco-conscious. The next time you unroll a sheet, take a moment to consider the ingenuity and care that goes into creating this everyday item. From raw materials to your home, every step reflects a level of innovation that's nothing short of remarkable. And with ongoing advancements, the process is only getting smarter, faster, and greener. Isn't it fascinating how something so simple can carry such a complex story? And there you have it, the incredible story of how an everyday item, like toilet paper, is mass-produced with such precision and innovation. If you found this process as fascinating as we do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more behind the scenes looks at how things we use every day are made. And hey, share this video with someone who might appreciate knowing how much technology and care go into making something so simple. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.